Welcome to Make More Marvels. This is Brad Hart. What's happening, everybody? Today, I wanted to make a quick video for Susan in the UK. She was asking, Brad, how can I cut back more of my time? Right? I know this sounds like a, you know, an excuse or a challenge, or whatever. You know, but I really want to understand how can I get back more of my time? I'm too busy. I have obligations. I have problems. I have this and that and the other thing. It just seems like I don't have enough time. And I get you, Susan, it's not going to be an issue much longer because we're going to give you some systems and some tools to get through that. So let's get right into it. I made you guys some quick notes here. This is going to be a, a crazy long video, but uh, I just wanted to go through these real quick. And as always, you can find more videos like this on the site, so check them out. Okay, great. So how to reclaim your time. Now, one of the most effective systems I've ever found for reclaiming your time is actually made by our friend Tony Robbins. It's called the RPM method. And the RPM method is very simple. It's just results, per uh, purpose, purpose, and massive action. And the reason it's so effective is because you're basically flipping the old to-do list on its head. And I always said, listen, it's not a to-do list, it's a get-to-do list. But if you're not clear on the what and the why, the how is going to be much more daunting. Because a lot of times, once you get clear on the results that you're looking for, which is your outcome or your what, it'll be much easier to define then why you want to achieve that, right? It'll be much easier to define what needs to happen to achieve that. So then you'll be in a place where you can actually get the results that you're looking for instead of just like shooting for the moon, right? And instead of making a 20 item to-do list to get an action or an, uh, to get an outcome rather, you might see that, okay, maybe only three of these things will really move me towards that outcome. And, and it just gets a lot easier because you can get rid of a lot of the crap that you're doing just to stay busy, but not actually making headway. So basically what I want you to do is just picture your outcome in your mind and then write it down, right? So let's say your outcome is to be uh, the very best mom that you can be, right, for your kids. Now, why do you want to be the best mom for your kids? Well, because you love your kids and you love your family and you want to uh, make sure they grow up right and you want to make sure that you have time with them and you want to make sure you're making memories and you want to make sure that they have everything that they need, that they're well provided for. There's a million different reasons, but find a reason that's specific to you and then write that down. World's best mom and then your purpose for being the world's best mom. What is it? Get it like really deeply emotionally seated. So when you look at it, it really seems much easier. And then from that space, from that space, then you can start to say, okay, well, what would it take for me to be the perfect mom? Is it that I have to do every single one of a hundred things? No. It's that I have to spend time with my kids. It's that I have to make sure that they have what they need. Their lunches are packed in the morning. They get dropped off where they need to get dropped off at. You know, and these things start to fall away. These little superfluous things like I have to do X, Y, and Z, whatever your made up scenario is to make sure that that happens. Because if you can get your outcome by doing less things, you're going to reclaim more of your time, right? You're going to get more done that's actually going to move the ball forward with less effort. So again, there's a whole 10 C 16 CD, 10 day course on the RPM method. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link to it below this. It's a great investment because you'll get your time back. And we only have 168 hours a week. It's the same 168 hours 24 seven that everybody else has. So if you use it more effectively, you'll have a better quality of life and you'll enjoy your, you'll spend more time in the zone, so to speak. And that's another thing Tony talks about. So too much for this one video, but check it out. It's awesome. All right. And then I'll put my little take on this, which is the pyramid method. And this is the way I structure my day. So lately, this has been really effective. What I do is I get up a little bit earlier than I'm used to. About six to nine, I spend on daily rituals, daily habits, journaling, reading, taking care of my body, which is working out, exercising, and just taking some time to meditate, breathe, move around, and it sets me up for the day. So I call it the pyramid method because it's like I'm, I'm basically creating the foundation of the pyramid from which all things can then be built upon, right? If you have a very shoddy foundation, there's a lot of leaks in it, it's not a strong foundation, you're not going to be able to build on top of that, right? So the pyramid method is essentially doing your physical and emotional and spiritual and mental work in the morning so you're in a great state for the rest of the day so that all the rest of the day you're in this awesome mood where you can basically go about things in a more uh, direct way you can get the results that you're looking for and if you get off track a little bit if you hit a snag if something happens to you you're setting up your day to combat that right so my phone for example is off until 9 a.m. because you know what I'm not the president of the United States you don't need to get in touch with me there's no emergency that's happening between 6 in the morning and 9 in the morning that needs to take me away from being with myself 
and doing the things I need to do to set myself up for the rest of the day. And honestly, you'll be able to serve people better once they are, you know, led into your life, other people's agendas, which we'll talk about in a second, if you are in a good state yourself, right? If you can't help yourself, you can't help anybody else. It all starts with you. It starts with creating the abundance in your own life so you can create it in other people's lives. And that's what we're all about here at Make More Marbles. We're all about creating abundance and freedom in everybody's life. So, pyramid team, right? So daily me time is the first thing. If you gotta get up at four in the morning, five in the morning, do it. Make sure you have some time for yourself, even if it's just 20 minutes, even if it's just a half an hour, even if it's just one hour, for you to collect yourself and be ready to face the day. Because it's gonna set you up for success for the rest of the day and make things come a lot easier to you in your life. So it gives you the strong foundation. And then the next three hours of the day between nine and 12, I'm still not checking email. You know why? Because I've got a beautiful, wonderful assistant who helps me. Uh, get these things off my plate and I just focus on the biggest two or three things that are going to really move forward that day. Is it making videos for the site? Is it doing my uh, coaching calls? Is it setting up funnels? Is it you know, uh, working on marketing materials or learning something that's really going to move forward my business? What is it that I can do in these two or three hours before noon before I look at anything else that anybody else demands of my time or do any errands or do any busy work or start looking on Facebook? What can I do in those three hours? And it's not always perfect but I try to really block it off because it's gonna move the ball forward much more where I can really move the ball forward. So those first three hours, again, me time, then get your biggest work projects done in those three hours. It's usually two to three action items that are really gonna move the ball forward. And then after that is what I call other people's agendas time, right? So it's my calls with other people, it's meetings, it's things that I have to be less and less acute for as the day goes on, right? I wanna be sharpest and create my state first thing. I wanna be sharpest for my big, hairy, scary test that I got to move forward on. And then the next three hours, I can start to kind of like, you know, ease into the day a little bit more. I start talking with people. I start getting out there. I start answering emails. I start answering Facebook messages. I start catching up with all the little things that people want attention for during the day. And that's fine. But now I've already taken care of the things that are most important in my day. So that no matter what else happens, no matter how I get sidetracked, I have my biggest to do's done. Does that make sense? My get to do list is done. Awesome. So then, you know, other things that we can do here are create leverage on ourselves, right? So I've, I've kind of gone through the first nine hours of the day, that 12 to three period, you know, you're talking to other people, you're getting things done, you're doing your coaching calls, you're doing your masterminding, whatever you're doing that helps you to run your business and helps to add value to the people in your life, that's what you're doing at that time. And then the rest of the day, you can kind of get your errands done, do what you got to do. Again, maybe your life is a little bit differently structured than mine. But this is a very good formula. If you set up things to be done in a certain order, as you have the most mental clarity throughout the day, then you get more done as a result. So I actually get more done in a day than most people get done in a week, because I'm very clear on that. Not only that, I forgot to mention, with this RPM method, I go through this once a week. I don't always write everything out, but if, you know, if I have a specific outcome I'm looking to attain, I make sure I review every single Monday morning what my result is, what my outcome is, right? And then why, what do I really want it? And I get really specific. I get really in tune with my emotional qualities about this particular thing that I'm trying to achieve. And then I come up with action items for the week. And then you can go and go in your calendar, pop them in there, and just set up times ahead of time that you know you're gonna have to buckle down and do this and get these things done. And then things that you can leverage, please do leverage. So. If you haven't considered maybe a virtual assistant or, or just somebody that can help you or some tools and tricks and hacks, I recommend my productivity worksheet. I've been kind of pumping it lately about, I've uh, been giving out three copies of it. It's 15 pages long full of tricks and hacks, apps and hacks and tools and just things that you can use to reclaim your time right now instead of 20 minutes, you know, a year from now uh, when you go back to getting absorbed into Facebook or whatever happens next. Take a second. Download it right now, it's completely free, and it'll help you out. So, being able to leverage things is the key to success, right? Do you think Steve Jobs does everything at Apple, or did he when he was alive? Of course not. Do you think Richard Branson does everything for every one of his 400 companies? Of course not. He finds ways, and he finds people who are great at things that he's not great at in order to leverage those things. And by doing that, you can create massive, awesome progress, right? And not only that, you can get rid of the things in your daily life that really aren't worth your time, or perhaps if you did a calculation, it would be better served doing somebody else's time. Let's say if you're, you're a consultant, you get paid $100, $200 an hour. Are you not going to outsource things that somebody else will do for $20 an hour, which is still a very livable wage, in order to get these things off your plate so that you can go out and make that $100 an hour or $200 an hour? Of course not. 
my consulting time, I charge $500 an hour. Am I going to be going and doing things that I could get somebody to do for $20 or $30 an hour? Of course not, because that's not the best use of my time. So you get better at these things as you go along. And it's just starting with getting into the habit of finding things in your life that you don't necessarily need to be doing yourself and find systems, processes, ways to eliminate, automate, and delegate these things so that you can get them off your plate and you have more time for the things that you need to be doing, spending time with your loved ones, time with your family, reclaiming your time for the things that actually matter and are going to move the ball forward and make your life even better. So. Again, this is a slow process at first, but it starts to pick up momentum, and as you earn more money and you're more productive, and what's productivity at the end of the day except time under income or income over time. So the more you can earn in the shorter amount of time, the more productive you are, and therefore you will have to work less. So all of this stuff can be summed up as that. Increasing productivity, reclaiming your time. It's not that you have more hours in the day or that you're more skilled necessarily. It's just that you take a smarter approach and you plan to succeed as opposed to just letting things happen to you. It's responding versus reacting, which I've written about before. And I really recommend you guys take it a little bit slower. Think about what you're doing. Think about the outcome that you're trying to achieve, the why, the purpose. Really get deeply emotionally invested in it. So you're using logic and emotion to your best advantage and then tackle it on all fronts. Thank you very much for taking the time to look at this video. We ran it a little bit long today, but I think there's a lot of great stuff here we can pick apart. I'll put some notes below the video. Thank you so much for checking us out here at Make More Marbles. My name is Brad Hart. I'm coming to you live from sunny Santa Monica, California, and I appreciate your time today because that's what it's all about, right? It's the time and the quality of your life. So see you soon. Thanks for checking us out. There's more great videos like this on the website, makemoremarbles.com. Take care.